time I was just observing planes and I was fascinated by those huge machines and I thought that this is what I wanted to be, a pilot. Ready to go? Let's go flying. Let's do this. We're going to do it. Yeah. Hi. I'm, I'm Maya. I'm Douglas. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So we're going to be going um, up in the sky today. Yes. Together. I'm going to take you up with me. I'm excited. How cool is that? The weather is looking all right and hopefully it all goes well. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> you become a refugee, but that doesn't change the fact that you have dreams, hopes and desires. We just want to be viewed as a normal human being with normal potentials and hopes and dreams and futures that we want to build. Today, that's my first ever solo flight and it's a big milestone because it's important in the journey of me becoming the first ever female Syrian refugee pilot. Like when I started going to schools and I started getting rejected from schools and I felt that they would look at me in a down way when I was like someone who they thought was uneducated, unskilled, unfit to be in a school. I've learned about my rights when I've learned that education is a right for me. It's not they can just reject me. It's education for refugees and is important. It's been a long journey from Damascus to here. Good luck. Thank I'm you very much. I'm very safely on the ground here. <laughs> I really just want to make sure that people understand that actually every person counts, every dream counts, and it's very important for us to believe in each other.